Stephen here. Coming to you today on the last day of 2015. And as so many of our YouTube pipe community, uh, a lot of folks will be making videos like these to kind of usher out the old year and ring in the new. So, setting out in my little smoking spot behind the apartment complex here. And uh, smoking my little rusticated Dublin that I got from Pipes, Strings, and Things John. It's a little Ed Love Select. It's a great little pipe. I absolutely love it. Thank you very much, John. I'm uh, working my way through your very generous gift of tobaccos as well. Although today I'm smoking some Seattle Pipe Club Pipe Place that my wife gifted me for Christmas. She gave me about nine tins of tobacco and a beautiful Stanwell pipe. And uh, this is uh, quickly becoming one of my favorite tobaccos. So behind the camera here, I've got a nice cup of coffee that may or may not have a, uh, a bit of Bailey's Irish cream. As I said, it is New Year's Eve. So if you hear any strange noises, also behind the camera and the tree next to me here, uh, a couple of squirrels, they're either fighting or not fighting. I guess we'll find out. Uh, anyway, uh, just thought I'd come to uh, do a quick video today. Uh, Louise is still at work. She has to work till 6 p.m. tonight. And uh, when she gets home, we're going to make some traditional Filipino kind of celebratory dinner items. We're going to make some pancit canton, which is a noodle dish, kind of a very, very traditional uh, dish that people make for birthdays, New Year's, celebrations of all types. And we're going to make uh, crispy pata, which is going to be baked, boiled, and then rebaked. So it's very, very crispy. Uh, it's a uh, pig leg or pig trotter, I guess we call it here. First time I've cooked anything like that, uh, so I'm excited for that. That'll be a, that'll be a good one. So anyway, just uh, reflecting a little bit on my past year here. Uh, obviously, the number one thing I have to talk about is uh, my best girl flew from Dubai, well, from Philippines to Dubai to the United States to join me in March, and uh, in May she became my wife had a pretty good run. We've really enjoyed our, our time together here. She got a, a real nice job at a uh, uh, child development center. She's kind of, uh, she tried different different ages. I think she's probably going to be with the infants. So every day she rocks and feeds and changes babies. And uh, she seems to really, really like that. That's very similar to what she did in Dubai. Although I think she was with toddlers most of the time in, in Dubai. So Anyway, it's been a real good year. We're getting settled. We're, uh, we're actually thinking about moving. We're not thinking about moving. We're pretty sure we're going to move uh, two flights up in the same building that we're in uh, in preparation for 2016. Now my pipe went out, of course. 2016, we're hoping with uh, any luck and uh, from the good folks at the uh, U.S. CIS, their immigration service, we're hoping Louise's three children can join us here. Uh, we've just started the paperwork and the process. Uh, you, know, you get so much information. Some people say it'll be easy. Some people say it'll be hard. Some people say it'll go quick. Some people say it won't. You know, we're just hoping and praying that we can get them here soon and we can uh, start our family together. So I will go from having two incredible sons to having four incredible sons and a daughter as well. So pretty excited about that. The one thing I love more than anything in this life is being a father. So anyway, that's where our uh, next year is going to lie. And uh, all the trials and tribulations of having three teenagers in the house. You know, my sons are uh, 21 and 24 and they're off to school and, and uh, pretty much grown up. So I get to do this again and I'm as excited as I can be. So anyway, much love to all of you. Happy New Year. Be safe. Have fun. Uh, just enjoy yourself. See you all.